guys, today I'm back with another chit chat, get ready with me. It's funny, I was watching a Jenna Marbles video recently and she was basically saying like, what are all these people getting ready for that are doing getting get ready with me? Because I remember when I first started my channel, I would film myself doing my makeup before I would go do something. And a lot of the time I am going to do something after I film one of these, but sometimes I'm not at all. Anyways, side note, I thought that that was really funny. Um, anyways, we're going to be putting some makeup on my face, some new items that I picked up recently, some new launches. Some of these I have tried out a few times, so I will be able to give you a little insight as we go. And this video is sponsored by and in collaboration with Color Science. You may have heard me mention them before. I've been using their brush on powdered sunscreen for years, but today we're chatting about the Color Science Total Eye 3 in 1 Renewal Therapy SPF 35. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we get into the makeup, I'm going to do my prep and I'm going to be using the Color Science Total Eye just under my eyes, obviously. It has kind of a peachy undertone to it, so it doesn't add a little bit of brightness under the eyes. You can use it during the night as well, but it does have that bonus SPF 35, so it is nice to kind of incorporate it into your daytime routine as well. So it has a little pump on it. I'm just going to take about just like slightly, like half a pump under each eye and kind of dot it around the eyes and make sure to kind of hit this area as well bring it up on your brow bone because you can kind of forget about those areas i know i am guilty of it myself and then you can kind of smooth it over the entire eye it's got that kind of cooling applicator on it so again it feels really nice in the morning if you do kind of wake up with a little bit of puffiness under the eyes and just to ensure it's blended in properly i always go in with my fingers and blend it out just kind of tapping you don't ever want to work too um hard under the eyes, just delicately kind of tap it in there. So you can see it does a nice job of brightening. I mean, it's not a makeup item, it is skincare, but it does kind of have that bonus peachy undertone and it absorbs quite quickly, but still feels hydrating. But because I do have oily skin, I am a little bit hesitant to put anything too moisturizing under my eyes because I don't want things to slip around and I don't find that that is the case with this. There's a coupon code down below if you do want to check it out or purchase it for yourself. And there's a coupon code as well and you'll get a free mascara with your purchase. And I will be using that mascara shortly. For my face, I'm going to be priming with the Origins Pore Perfecting Cooling Primer. And this has been all over the internet as it has this foaming texture. And this is my... Can you hear that? <laughs> uh, this is my second time using it. And oh my goodness, is it ever... Like it is freezing cold. Um, but it feels nice and if you've used any of the Origins Original Skin products, um, it has that kind of grapefruity but not super sweet scent. And it does do um, a nice job smoothing my skin. I do need to play around with it a little bit more, but it is recommended for like normal to oily, not so much dry. And to keep the prep going, I'm going to be using this YSL Volupte Night Mask, which is for the night, but I'm going to use it on my lips anyways as prep. They've released a bunch of new um, Volupte shines, which are super pretty, but I wanted to use another lipstick today, so I thought I'd use this on my lips. And the applicator of this and the other lipsticks are little lips, which is so cute. For my foundation today, I'm using the Dior Forever Undercover Foundation. I've had tons of requests to review this. I have used this once before I think and I was super impressed with the coverage um, I also have the original forever foundation and I've been meaning to review that but um, this is the latest from them and the shade range actually looks quite good I mean you tell me I've only seen pictures of it online I haven't seen the entire collection in person so I can't say for sure um, but the coverage that I got out of this was crazy that first time I used it I'm gonna try it with a sponge today to appease the sponge lovers because people are always asking me to use sponges <laughs> and I'm like I don't like sponges it's not that I don't like sponges I just I just like brushes but let's try with a sponge today um, but yeah I was really really impressed with how this um, how the coverage looked and it didn't look cakey on my skin I feel like this shade match is good too. be careful when you're picking it out because the shades don't necessarily go in order they kind of move around based on the uh, undertone of the foundation but I'm wearing 40 and I wear 40 in the forever as well. But I think that it looks so good. Super impressed so far. Let me know if you have tried this. I'm probably gonna do an oily skin diaries on this after I get a little bit more time with the foundation. So next I'm gonna be using the hottest concealer on the market right now, the Makeup Revolution, what is this even called? Conceal and Define Concealer. And I have not used this yet. I'm gonna use the shade C8, I think. 
I found when I was um, swatching the shades that I have, they all looked more on the neutrally pink side and I definitely like to go more yellow under my eyes. They have released or are releasing more shades which is amazing because the shade range was already quite big so props to them but we'll see how this goes. So far it feels nice, it feels thick. Shade is good. I'm adding a smidge of C7. Call me excessive. <laughs> but this is a little more yellow. While I let that set, I went in and started in on my brows. So I used the LA Girl Slim Shady Brow Pencil. This feels really nice, super slim, a little bit waxy, a little bit pencil-y, so it had that kind of nice balance. And then I set my brows with the L'Oreal <laughs> Brow Stylist Boost and Set, which is their new brow gel, and it just has a tiny little brush on it. I love their other brow gel, so this is a good one too. It has a nice amount of color in it. I don't see a huge difference between the two. I don't really know what the difference is, but they're both good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out, starting with my fingers, cause that's my preferred method for under eye concealer. I find letting it set under my eyes and then blending it out with fingers first, I get and get to keep the best amount of coverage. So now I'm gonna go in with a brush and blend out the edges. This looks so good so far. Really, really impressed with that. My whole base actually, I'm really enjoying. Everything looks quite smooth on my face, considering I have a lot of texture right now. So I'm pretty impressed with how this all looks. And if you have dry skin or even normal skin, I don't think you'd need to set this Dior foundation. I'm going to set it, but I don't think you'd need to. I have two liquidy cream products that I'm gonna use. The first is from The Balm. This is their Bonnie Dumanizer. They also have a Mary Dumanizer. So it's the liquid form of their powder highlights. I'm really excited about that. And then this is from NARS. I don't use a lot of cream blushes, but my absolute favorite are these. These, well, these are more liquid, I guess. This one is in the shade Hot Tin Roof and it's from their Spring 2018 collection. So let's do blush first. I haven't tried this blush. I just got it last night. Ooh, it's a beautiful shade. These are so nice. Um, they're so nice and they're super long lasting, but there is a bit of an intimidation factor for me anyways, when it comes to liquid blushes. That's what the shade looks like there. So it's kind of this beautiful terracotta color. I put out way too much. Don't, don't be like me, but I'm just gonna blend it in with this sponge and they are quite easy to work with. The other shades that they have are, are a little bit lighter than this if you wanted to try something lighter and they're buildable, blendable. My problem is like, I just never know how to approach clean cream blushes. Like I'm just like creeping towards it and I have no idea what to do. But these, I just, I think they blend in the skin so nicely. They add a nice, really natural flush. Like you'd never say with this big blob of color on my hand, that be like, oh, that looks so natural. But once you put it on your skin and blend it in, and I do like a sponge with the best over like a stippling brush or something really dense. Like I find it needs something dense or a sponge. Wow, I love that. I don't know if you can see how cute and flush I am. I don't know, it just looks so good. And then for the liquid highlighter onto the Bonnie Dumanizer, they have new bronzers coming out, which I know we're on the way to me, which I was kind of hoping that I would have by the time I filmed this, but I will be talking about those when they do come in. This is my first time trying this. I maybe shouldn't have just dotted it on my face and went to town. Okay, wow. Hello, glow. And on their website, I think I mentioned this in my monthly makeup basket, but it said that these were $14. I was like, is that the right price? Because that's the same price as like drugstore highlighters. And I feel like it would take a long time to run out of a liquid highlighter. This looks so pretty. It doesn't have any glitter in it, but a very strong metallic finish, like very strong. Like this face, I feel like I could almost not set anything on my face right now. Leave the cream blush, cream highlight, foundation concealer, which is, I don't know that I've ever run into this situation. Things are going suspiciously well. That being said, I am gonna set my face. I'm not going rogue today. I've got the new Wet n Wild brushes here, or well, they're newer to me. These are an online exclusive, so you can get them on the Wet n Wild website or through Ulta. And this is their Pro Setting Brush. So I'm gonna use this with the new Becca um, Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I have used this once before. These, I also, I haven't used these Wet n Wild brushes yet, but they look and feel so beautiful and luxe. <laughs> oh my god did you see that i've never done that before oh my god Ooh, 
Okay, just gonna set and brighten my um, my inner nostrils as well. Okay, I like this brush. It does feel not super soft, but that being said, like I just took it out of the package, so maybe it needs a little bit of time to soften. Like it doesn't feel hard on my face, but the ends of the bristles don't feel super smooth, if that makes sense. So that powder is nice. I feel like it maybe gave me a little bit of a white cast under the eyes but I'll need to keep playing with it. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild brush again, and then this is the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Vitalist powder. I've used this a couple times, and I think it's a really beautiful powder. It has a little bit of color to it. Uh, it's not like a super mattifying powder in the same way that I find the All Day Outlast powder is, but I do find it's super smooth and just looks really natural on the skin, which is kind of what that healthy line is going for. Just have this one curl that keeps hanging down in the middle of my forehead, giving me like little Bo Peep, Michael Jackson vibes here today. Just not, neither of the vibes I was hoping to go for. I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer now to do my eyes before we finish the face. I am gonna prime my eyes with the Nude by Nature Perfecting Eye Primer. I'm gonna, this is probably like my third time using it, so I still need to play with it more, but this line is new to shoppers, so let me know if you'd like to see some more on their line. And on my eyes today, I'm gonna be using a combination of the Bad Habit Athena Palette with a little bit of the NARS Danger Control. I think this is gonna go like in my inner corner. I'm envisioning something very pink, so we'll see what happens, because I have no idea. I'm gonna get started with this shade Valor here. I don't know if it's actually going to show up in my crease, but let's try it. Oh yeah, there it is. That's pretty. I am working on more Bad Habit beauty content, so stay tuned for that. I just feel like there has been so many eyeshadow palettes lately, and eyeshadow palettes take so much more time to test. Next I'm going in with the shade Heroic, and I'm gonna put it on the Wet n Wild Fluffy Blending Brush. And I'm just gonna put this towards the outer corner and slightly bring it in and up. So these brushes don't feel as soft to me as the white and pink ones, but again, this is the first use, so they may need to loosen up a little bit. They don't feel bad, but they just, the bristles are definitely different. So I'm gonna take a combination of Clever and Valor that I used earlier. The thing that I kind of feel like this is missing is a bit more of a mid-tone shade in here. You get a good amount of mattes, but there's a ton of shimmers in here. I could just reach for a bronzer or something like that, but just a thought. Running this on the lower lash line. The shades themselves do feel nice and blendable. I'm not really getting any fallout. For my lid shade, I wanna take this shade here from the NARS Danger Control Palette. I think it's Electra, And this palette is interesting because it's kind of a whole bunch of sort of duochrome lid shades. Wow! I put a little bit more of that eye primer down just to give it a base because I didn't know how sticky it was going to be. Wow, that is shiny. The textures of these, this palette is interesting. Some of the shades feel not flaky, but they're not super smooth, but I wouldn't call that, I wouldn't say that that's bad. I'd say some of them would perform better wet or with a stickier base, but then you do get that really interesting result. For my inner corner, I'm coming back to the Athena palette. I'm using the shade Cunning here, which is kind of this pinky gold shift, and I'm going to pop it in the inner corner. It may be too pink, let's see. Yeah, that's, ooh, wow. Okay, I kinda like it. I kinda like the not typical inner corner thing, but this has a really strong shift to it as well. When I swatched it on my hand, it looked much more gold, and here it looks much more pink. So I did a little bit of winged liner and then I put a little bit of gold on my inner waterline. I don't know if you can even tell, but everything I'm wearing will of course be listed down below. I'm gonna be using the Color Science Mascara. This is of course the one that you get free with purchase with the Total Eye that I mentioned earlier. And this does a really nice job. It has like a traditional, more traditional kind of bristle brush, which I have always enjoyed. And it does a nice job with volume and length it is so hard to talk while putting on mascara <laughs> and it also helps to nourish the lashes because it's got some um, peptides in there as well i'm gonna use it on the upper and lower lashes so now i'm going to move you back out and we will do bronzer blush highlight all that good stuff so for bronzer today, I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Deep Bronzer. I have used this before in a video and talked about it a little bit more, but I'm still getting questions about it, so I thought I would use it again. This is the new deeper shade of their Butter Bronzer, and it is the deepest shade. And I'm using it on the Wet n Wild Blush Brush. This is a little bit denser and bigger than what I would normally go for. In a 
blush brush, but I do um, think it is nice for bronzing. Really glad I finally get to try it out for myself. Moving back to Nude by Nature, the packaging is so pretty and sleek, by the way, but this is their cashmere pressed blush. Oh my goodness. In the shade Soft Coral, and this looks like, really reminds me of like a matte copper tone. Haven't tried this yet, but it looks like my kind of shade, and yes, confirmed. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so like peachy and perfect. And it is completely matte, it seems like. No shimmer, no satiny finish, but it looks flawless on the skin. I am testing out some good products today. This is going very well. <laughs> well, some of these I'd already tested out, but I haven't tested them all out together and they're just all playing really nicely. And can you see how that um, balm highlight is still coming through, especially on my nose? Can you see how like, even though I've powdered and done a bunch of stuff, um, it's still showing through, but I am going to, of course, put on another highlighter. This one is brand new from Dior, and the packaging, obviously, is gorgeous. This is their Nude Skin Luminizer in Glow Addict Hollow Gold, and I'm going to use it on the Wet n Wild brush. The juxtaposition of using a Dior highlight with a <laughs> um, Wet n Wild blush. I mean, oh my god, why, do I, why can't I speak today with a Wet n Wild brush? And this has, it, they say it's hollow. I mean, I don't really know that it is hollow, but it is um, kind of, I would say more on the duo crime chrome side. It looks like it has kind of beigey pink in it. And then it really does pull a little bit pink on the skin, which I'm happy with. Cause I feel like I'm kind of going for this monochrome slash duo chrome pink thing today. After some deliberation, I decided to just go for it because I remember I had a get ready with me a little while ago and I did kind of like a coppery eye and then I put on a coppery metallic lip and then took it off and a lot of you were like, no. So I'm gonna go for it today. I'm gonna do basically the same lip shade that I have on my inner corner and do like a pink kind of metallic-y duochrome-y lip. So I'm gonna do the uh, Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in the shade Rose. These are incredible. Nude Sticks is so good. Their lipsticks and their matte products, just all of it. Really, really love it. So this is like, oh cool, that's a super cute lip, but we're going to amp it up a little with the Bite Beauty Prismatic Multi Sticks. If you remember how much I loved their Prismatic Gloss in Blush Pearl, those are so beautiful and so transformative. So this one is in the shade Pink Pearl, which is kind of the, I just swatched it out on my hand here. It's kind of a really, I can't really tell, but it's a really similar shade to what I have on my inner corner. So let's put that on. Ooh, yeah, ooh, ooh. So this is really interesting. I put this on my lips just plain and it was so like wabam in your face. And then when I put it over a lipstick, it's not as wabam at all. It just adds such a beautiful glow. Ooh, I was not expecting that. I think I need a little lip liner though. So I added a little bit of the Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade 40 and I'm really happy with how this came out. It's a little bit different. Maybe, I don't know, you tell me what you think, but the lip is just a little bit more light pink than what I normally go for, but I think it's kind of fun. I like to play around, and I think the lip liner really helped to kind of define the lips a little bit more. But overall, I am so happy with how all of these products played together. I don't think I really had any fails, minus um, ingesting some Becca powder, but so far, so great. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out the Color Science Total Eye, which will be linked down below, along with a coupon code for a free mascara with purchase. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!